Good day, David here, and welcome to another Evolution of Everything video. So you clicked on this video because you want to find out about the evolution of the underwear. Well guess what, you've come to the right place because that's exactly what we're going to talk about. So let's take a peek at how your unmentionables have changed through the years. In the past 200 years, undergarments have gone from severe, restrictive torture devices to being barely there, if you know what I mean. Affected by style trends as well as the larger cultural climate of the times, the underwear has experienced a transformation like few other fashion categories. Starting in the 5000 BC, the loincloth was invented, worn by cavemen and foreigners alike. The loincloth is the longest existing style of underwear, comprising only of a piece of fabric wrapped around the hips and through the legs. For more of a luxurious take on the modest garment, the upper class or silk versions. In the Middle Ages, the chemise was introduced. Unlike slips worn today, the chemise was a long, flimsy undergarment worn under dresses. The gossamer chemise worn by the mythical figures in Botticelli's 1477 painting, Primavera, are a more ethereal version of the practical, modest versions everyday woman wore. Later, the rising popularity of the corsets in the 16th and 17th century caused Western women to start suffering for fashion, as the lace-up bodies clinched their waists and flattened their chests. This painful trend remained popular all the way up to the beginning of the 20th century. In the 1830s saw the introduction of a number of new undergarment accessories for women, including the crinoline petticoat, an underskirt cage worn to create a bell shape. While the result was charming, I can't imagine how uncomfortable it must have been to sit while wearing one of these contraptions. Near the end of the 19th century, rising hemlines meant that women had to cover up in different ways, introducing pantaloons. Long, baggy trousers went under skirts and dresses so that despite shorter skirt lengths, the calves and ankles remained concealed. While most of the intention may have gone to their bobbed hair and short skirts, flappers also introduced a new style in underwear lingerie. Previously plain and white, undergarments became decorative and less modest as they were worn under trendy short dresses. Although stiff corsets remained a thing of the past, women in the 1930s still embraced a bit of shapewear. Flattening the stomach and extending over the thighs, girdles created a small waisted silhouette without any of the dangerous constrictions of corsets. Named after an island in the Pacific Ocean, the bikini grew to be a popular style of underwear that remains a favourite today. Thanks to the development of rayon and spandex, intimates became comfortable and cute. Unlike the plain, industrial undergarments worn for centuries before. First gaining popularity in South America, thongs became a favourite in the United States in the late 1980s. Composed of a triangular piece of fabric and strings, the risque under things shows an eerie resemblance to the original loincloth. Perhaps underwear hasn't changed that much at all. Maybe you're sitting there right now watching this video wearing a loincloth. Victoria's Secret, the largest American lingerie retailer, introduced the Miracle Bra. Selling 2 million in its first year, the brand also started the annual fashion show in 1995, establishing lingerie as an outlet for entertainment. Founded in the year 2000, Spanx was introduced originally as a pantyhose company before becoming a modern shapewear staple, grossing over $250 million in annual revenues. Finally, jumping to present day, taking cue from Madonna in the 1980s, the line between outerwear and underwear has been blurred as more women embrace the trend of trying off their lingerie rather than keeping it under wraps. So there you go guys, I hope you are happy with this brief look at the evolution of the underwear. Knowledge that you will probably never need, but hey, it was somewhat interesting right? No? Just me? Fine. Well that's it for this Evolution of Everything video. Leave us a comment of what bizarre Evolution of Everything video you would like to see next. Like this video if you found it somewhat interesting, and why not subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this one. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.